Be sure and check out my new website, gypsydigs.com. Hey there friends, Gypsy here with Zero Discrimination YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching my videos. And if you're not a subscriber, uh, think about it. Hit that subscribe button and see some of my latest videos and uh, hit that bell so uh, you can be notified of my upcoming videos. So uh, with all that said, welcome. And um, also I've got something special to share with you. If you've probably already noticed in the title, but today I got the Nemo, that is the Blue 3 Nemo. It is a hookah diving system. It's a portable system that you can dive up to 10 feet in the water. And um, I'm gonna show you this portable unit. I'm gonna unbox it today for you and go over a few of the things in the box. And then I'm also going to show you some of the extras that I've purchased uh, for my first dive. So let's take a look. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what all is in here. Uh, oh, wow. Already I see this backpack here. Wow. Look how easy that is. Straight out of the box, all the content is in this portable backpack. So you can take it with you. You can even uh, take it with you on a plane if you're traveling. Uh, so that's what's really neat and unique about this uh, portable um, hookah dive system. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what all is in there. All right, let's take a look. This will be the first time I've seen all this. Wow. So this is the owner's manual. I highly recommend uh, before you dive to read over the owner's manual. Uh, Thoroughly. That way you know all, all about the system, uh, the do's and don'ts. Also, something that you must do, which I highly, highly recommend, is go online to the Blue 3 website. And there is a free online uh, diving course that you can take for this system. Uh, because it is very dangerous uh, with the pr water pressure as you dive down. So this is something very important. So I highly recommend you go into the website and taking that course uh, before you do any diving. So let's dive into all the content in this backpack. So right here, as I've already discussed, we have the manual. So right here you have your blue three diving flag that will attach to the the little float inflatable float thing that will float your host system so let's go ahead and take that off of there you can hook that flag up we'll show that again later um, it looks like you slide it through there and then you will attach it to this this is to let people know that you are there, uh, alert boats, swimmers, everyone, that you're diving underneath there. So that's very important. This is your, the actual thing that uh, inflates, that floats your host system on top of the water. So this is very important here. I'll take that out in a little bit and we'll discuss that more. Right here. We'll go ahead and unlatch this. Look here. Important prior to diving, all users must read and understand the Nemo uh, owner's user manual. Complete the Nemo fitness to dive evaluation and complete the Nemo on live dive training course. So uh, be sure 
and do that. Limited warranty. In order to be eligible for service under warranty, you must register your product within 30 days of purchase. Register your product at blue3.com slash support. So there's something very important right there. All right, let's go ahead and finish opening this up. We have the actual system here. All right, so here you go. This is what this looks like. Now, um, this right here is what's going to turn on as you breathe, as you put hook up your air regulator um, into your mouth when you're diving. So it's like a motor and it is, this motor runs on these rechargeable batteries, gives you about about an hour uh, of dive time. And I'm gonna need to charge this uh, fully before I go on my first dive. And this will go right into the system here. And I'll show you all that in a little bit. So your battery will slide into this compartment right here, which connects to your compressor and you just tighten it up. And once you get it all tightened, you can just slide that in just like so. And this fits on top of this, which we'll go ahead and open. This is your floating device. And these are what you attach to your motor. Now, this is going to be really easy to air up. So you have this right here that you unscrew. And when it is unscrewed, what that does, it allows no air to come out. When you screw it in, you're able to push that in, which allows air to come in and out. And so all I have to do uh, when I want to air this up, I'm going to push in. And see how it starts to inflate? Just like so. But after I get it completely aired, then I will tighten this up. And then it will not allow the air to come out or in. So that's a very important thing in inflating this, which we'll talk more about that later. Let me go ahead and air this up and then we'll attach it to our Nemo motor. All right, now that our inflatable uh, thing has inflated, now that we've got it inflated, we're gonna put the Nemo inside here. Let's go ahead and put this first through here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and um, then we will attach it. There we go. Now I'm gonna flip it over here and go ahead and attach this to here. All right, there you have it. I've got it attached and um, if the uh, batteries were in there, it would be ready to use and attach uh, to the body, but I'm gonna have to show you that later. Um, but that's the basic way to set that up. And then here, right here, you have the charging cord to charge your battery. So this right here is what you'll be charging your battery with. It comes with the Blue 3. Nemo. So um, I'm going to go charge the battery and then we'll be back soon. All right, so I'm charging the battery for the Blue 3. And uh, right now, um, the battery charger is showing red. So that means it's charging this. And then uh, I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take uh, 
One video I watched said it took about an hour and another one said about four hours. So I'll let you know how long. Hey there friends, Gypsy here with Zero Discrimination. Today I'm at the lovely river and this is where uh, people come from all over and float and swim and all kinds of fun stuff, uh, recreation on the river. And today I brought my blue three and I'm gonna test it out for the first time. I'm gonna start out in the shallow water and I'll be showing you step by step what I'm doing. And um, I've also, what I've done is I brought my AT Pro today. And what I've done is I've cut one of my shafts and uh, made it much smaller, perfect for diving. It's small and um, that's what I'm gonna use when I'm under the water. Uh, metal detecting. So I have a few extra things that I have with me today for when I'm diving uh, in the deeper part. First I'm going to test it out in the shallow. I probably won't need these in the shallow. I'm going to really shallow to start out with to learn the breathing and all of that. Uh, Blue 3 Nemo, uh, they recommend that you start out in a pool or a very shallow area just to test for you to get used to it. So that's what I'm going to do today. And then um, we might venture off into a little bit deeper part. It's submersible up to 10 feet deep. Also, the AT Pro and AT Max is submersible up to 10 feet as well. So a uh, few things I'll go over with. Um, here I have my mask, my diver's mask. And I have some for when I do dive. I uh, have a diving belt uh, along with some diving weights. Help keep you uh, down uh, from floating. And uh, you also have to have some waterproof bags to collect all your treasures in. So this one I can actually hook on to my diver's belt if I want. Or I can wear this one that I normally wear when I'm water detecting. It has mesh that I can put my finds in as well. Uh, I always recommend wearing gloves uh, no matter what. It's a little sandy from the beach, Florida trip. But this I have, it is the Access Go for my 11 Pro phone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be doing some underwater recording today. And I can put my phone in this waterproof case and still record in the water. So I'll be using that as well today. I also brought my underwater uh, little booties here that I can put on. I always recommend wearing something, especially in these type of rivers where people are floating and they're losing things or sharp objects, uh, rocks, all kinds of dangers. So be sure um, when just walking, you wanna wear something to protect your feet as well as when you're diving. And um, what I recommend if you are wearing something like this to put this on with, or I also, love these uh, little socks they call them uh, water socks uh, that are perfect for these too and then you can also walk in these as well so that's what i'm going to be using today so how about let's go find some treasure all right it started raining and we got a huge crowd of people here but I've got the blue three ready to go. But we're gonna have to wait till all these people clear. And then I'm gonna get in this little spot right here. There's a little spot there about maybe six feet, four to six feet. It's very shallow, good place to test. And it's close to these rocks. I can set the Nemo right here. So we will, once they get all Gone, and we'll start videoing that. Well, it's still raining, so can't get in the water yet. Waiting for it to pass. Finally stopped raining, so we are commencing with the uh, Nemo dive. I'm gonna start out here where it's fairly shallow. My son just jumped in and it was about up to his chest. So, um, what I, I haven't put the um, thing around my neck. It's going to latch right here. Uh, but first, let me show you. I just uh, put the battery in and it's ready to go. And watch this. 
nothing's happening. No, so what you're gonna have to do before uh, you do anything is you gotta turn this. Well, my hands are all wet. So once you turn that, it's opened up that air valve and you will be able to hear the Nemo come on as I breathe. Now, as long as that valve is open, I'll be able to breathe. Um, and then you can shut that off so it won't come on for safety as you're up. But what I'll do is let's go ahead and put this on. This is the first time I put this on. So let me fumble around with this for a moment. If I can remember, this wraps around your neck. And then this around your front. And this is to... So this is gently going to lay here, and I have a snorkel around here somewhere. You want to wear a snorkel just in case you had to come up and for some reason you ran out of air, and uh, snorkels are always good to have. tighten this by pulling on this if you need to. If this is fitting just right. There's not a lot of give here. You want it to not be too loose. And uh, it's all ready to go. So um, right now my I'm going to put my diving belt on and get all that gear and then I'll get in the water and then we'll fire up the camera one more time. See you in the water. All right, I'm loosening this. Woo, kicked on. I got my bass already. I'm just gonna put my head in for just a minute. Kind of get acclimated to the water. It's very cold. And it's also usually very clear here, but after the rain, it's all mucked up right now. So let's see what it looks like. murky right now we might wait for a little while for it to settle but it's working great I'm excited so unfortunately due to two hours of raining this was the only test I was able to do on this day uh, I hope to get back out to the river soon or there's some local spots swim areas near me and get out and test it some more and have some underwater footage for you but until then, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And um, be sure and check out uh, the Digger's Den website. Uh, you can purchase a Nemo uh, with us at Digger's Den and use code GYPSY when ordering. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And remember, just dig it. Need a metal detector or metal detecting supplies? We've got you covered at the Digger's Den, www.ddetectors.com. Be sure and use my promo code when ordering online, GYPSY, all caps. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.